get to know one another, some great music. And, uh, you know, I think to end it, I'm not going to be long-winded here today, folks, but uh, I think to end it, I do want to really tip my hat to the uh, official AGM committee. Uh, Robin Mockler, Geraldine Barton, Wendy Staple, Stephanie Haslam, and Randall Lessons. So let's give them a real challenge you, that challenge us as a party to break the status quo and to come out from the norm. Because let's face it folks, the norm is getting us a 10% unemployment rate, the norm is getting us backed up health care services and wait times, whereas uh, Dr. Singh had mentioned, you know, we've got seniors living in hospitals, which is unfathomable. The norm is getting us an education system where we're the lowest literacy rates in the country. The norm is getting us the highest child poverty rate in the city of St. John across the country. The norm is causing our infrastructures and our roads to crumble and decay. The norm simply isn't working. We have got to break the norm and change the status quo. Folks, we're doing it here now and we're going to keep doing it. And I believe our message has got to be that our doors are open. We don't care if you're liberal, conservative, NDP, green, or you have no party affiliation at all. If you want change for the province and you want no nonsense in getting that change, the People's Alliance is your only option for 2018. <laughs> so like I said, I'm not going to be long, but I am so excited. I am so excited of where we're going to be and what we're going to accomplish. And I want to lay this out to you really quickly. And then I, and I'm going to leave, leave you with a story to, to, to get you thinking as you leave. But anybody hear about the election on the west coast of Canada? Let me just give you a picture of how that went down. You've got so many seats in the, in the, in the province of British Columbia. They just went through a provincial election. The Liberals won. They didn't win by much. And the NDP holds the official opposition. But out of all the seats, and I'm not sure the, how many seats are in BC. Does anybody know the province of BC? 87. 87. We'll, we'll go with that. Uh, Vern says, uh, trust and verify. So I'll trust you, Jane, and we'll verify later. Uh, so, <laughs> so we'll say there's 87 seats. Well, you've got a, you've got a government in power that holds a minority power, which means the government itself is at the bidding of three green seats right in the middle. So people say, well, you know, I'll tell you right now, our goal, and I've said this from the start, our goal is to form government. We, yes. we are ourselves. We're out to form government. We want every seat represented. We want candidates in every riding and we are going to work uh, uh, fervently to make that happen. But I'll tell you what, government is the ultimate goal. But you do not have to be the government to create change. And if you don't believe me, just look to BC, look to other jurisdictions where minority governments, it's the small guy in the middle that makes the most change because negotiations happen, bills got to get passed, nothing can get done without those three seats right in the middle of British Columbia. That, folks, is just as much an avenue of change as anything else. Right? <laughs> Keeping in line with changing the way we think, I want to leave you with a story. A merchant was passing through a small country town. A single horse had caught his eye. He stopped momentarily and was puzzled by the fact that this powerful creature was being held back by only a small rope loosely tied to a small chair. No fences, no chains, no barn gates. It was obvious that this horse could, at any time, break away from its bond, but for some reason, it did not. 
He saw and, and looked at what, to be, what looked to be an owner nearby, and he asked this man why the animal just stood there and made no attempt to get away. Well, the owner said, when the horse was very young and much smaller, we used the small rope to tie it, and at that age, it was strong enough to hold him. Sure, he would try to break free, but soon learned that he was unable to do so. As he grew up, he continued to believe that he couldn't break away. He believed the rope would still hold him, and he never tried to break free again. Well, the man was amazed. This, this animal could break free at any time from its bond, but because the horse believed it could not, it was stuck right there. Conditioned to do the same thing each day, believing there's no alternative. The man continued on his way and reflected on how many of us are like that helpless horse. Many of us go through life hanging on to a belief that we cannot do something simply because we failed at it once before or were led to believe that what once held us back will always hold us back. Failure, the man thought, is part of learning. We should never give up if we are caught in a struggle. For it is the struggle that makes us stronger and wiser and everything that once held us back quickly becomes a stepping stone to setting us free. We have got to set New Brunswick free in 2018.